Hello, friends. Today we're going to talk about affiliate programs. Let me get all my stuff organized here. So, hi, everyone. My name is Morgan. I am a business coach. I'm a marketing coach. I've been in the marketing world for, gosh, since I was 21, 20 years now. Uh, good for me. A little pat on the back for that. Um, when I started my business, I had the good fortune of hiring a great business coach who told me your first clients are not going to come from social media. And I was a big social media nerd at that time. So I was really excited to dive into funnels, but that is a medium to long-term growth strategy. So he said, no, your clients already exist within your network. You just need to know who to ask. And the system that she had me use was to go ask 10 people to say, hey, here's what I'm offering. Do you know anyone who needs this service? And then from there, I did market research interviews to narrow down more who it was I wanted in my world. And now we're here. I'm now like, you know, nine or year, year so years later, uh, going with my business full time. And I have a global clientele of coaching clients that I help. It's great. I love it. So I've had a lot of my clients ask me to tell them, how do I refer people to you? So that's what this video is all about. But you're going to learn some tips about how you can incorporate this into your business as well. So the best way to refer someone to me is to first of all, know who you want to refer to me, right? I'm a business coach. I work essentially with spiritual entrepreneurs, although they may not describe themselves that way. In fact, I know from my market research, they do not describe themselves that way. They describe themselves as yoga teachers or Reiki masters or sound healers or massage therapists, or licensed therapists, or MFTs, uh, mar marriage and family therapists. They describe themselves as healers, light workers, tarot readers, psychics, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but that tends to be the type of people, oh, artists as well. I work with a lot of artists. They're people who are working with a deep passion who want their work to be easier. They're overwhelmed by social media. They do not want to find clients on social media because it's just too hard. They don't want to have to post multiple times a day like I do. <laughs> I do it because I love it. I'm a social media nerd. I don't recommend this for my clients because most of them don't have the energy for it. That's just not where their energy is. So these are the types of people that you can refer to me, people who are overwhelmed by social media. They have some form of imposter syndrome. They're, they're kind of shocked that anyone would pay them for their skills. They're willing to do their work for free, which is how we know it's a passion. But who can afford to work for free? Literally nobody, okay? So they want to be making money. They probably have some money trauma in their past. You know they're talented because you're their friend and you see their light. They may not see how talented they are. They may still be stuck in this imposter syndrome world. They're like have a million great ideas. My clients tend to be neurodivergent. They have ADHD. They're somewhere on the autism spectrum. They have a million great ideas. They have no idea where to start and how to make their work translate to their target market. These are the people that you should be referring to me. Now, how do you refer them to me? The best way is to first ask the person that you have in mind. Maybe as I was talking about those people, you were like, oh yeah, I know this person and that person and this person. Reach out to them through whatever your normal way of communicating is, text, DM, email, whatever it is, and say, hey, I have this great business coach. I would love to refer you to them. I think they can really help you out. You can put this into a group text and you ask their permission. Do you mind if I put us into a group text or a group DM so they can connect with you and, and you guys can talk about how you can work together? Um, the other way would be to just send them my calendar and say, if you're interested, here's my calendar. She'll give you a free consultation as a gift to you from me on my behalf since she knows me and uh, and best of luck. Now, here's the best part. Most of my business comes from referrals, which mean that I get 20% off the top of, of my income that I give straight to you. And you guys know, like I do high ticket sales for the most part, right? So like people are paying me thousands of dollars. So that means I get to give you hundreds to thousands of dollars just for sending that text. That's it. It's so easy. It's the easiest money that my friends and my clients and my network makes to just refer people to me. I've even had people just tag someone on one of my social media posts. And if they end up hiring me or buying one of my products, I will then track down the person because I always ask, hey, how did you find me? And if they say someone tagged me, I'll go back and find that person. I will DM them and say, hey, this person actually bought something from me. And as a thank you, I want to send you a commission. And then I send them several hundred dollars and they're like, I was not expecting that. Thank you so much. And then they keep 
feeding people to me. They see the magic of it. They see how easy it is. And that makes my business easy. Yeah. And that allows me to put my time on social media into other income streams. So like Instagram is mostly sponsored posts at this point. And I, you know, I have monetized my account. So I get paid a little bit of money. I have affiliate accounts that I use on Instagram, things of that nature. Uh, Facebook is somewhere that I use kind of just to keep in touch with my network, essentially, I treat it mostly as a website where if someone Googles me, they can kind of see what I'm about. Um, but no, most of my clients actually come from referrals. So that's the way to do it. I hope this is helpful. Um, I hope if you learned something from this, go ahead and leave a comment uh, down below to let me know what you learned from this. And go start your own referral network, my friends. Pay a generous commission so people keep referring their network to you. All right? Oh, and how do I pay them? I just PayPal them. I wait a payment cycle because I offer, you know, just in case someone like doesn't work out after a week, they're like, this isn't for me. I want a refund. This happens less than once a year. It's very rare, but I don't want to pay someone a commission and then have to give someone a refund. And now I'm out that commission, right? Because I'm not going to go to that person and be like, I need to get that money back. I'm not going to do that. So I'll wait a payment cycle and then I'll pay them at the end of that month. Um, and I just PayPal them. I'll text them and ask them like, Hey, what's your PayPal email address? I've also done this through like podcasts that I've been on, not as an agreement for being on that podcast, but I've had a few people hire me over the past few months based on one podcast that I was on. So I reached out to the guy and I was like, Hey, thanks so much. I pay a commission. These people found me through you. I want to pay it forward. You know, you made my life easy because now I'm making money off of this, you know, essentially passive marketing funnel that I don't have to put any more work into. Um, thanks for the opportunity. And he's made several hundred dollars for me at this point. And it's just a win, win, win for everyone involved. All right. Okay. I hope this is helpful for you.